I think it's quite crushing to the local scene, to be honest. So there were tears in, uh, in some of the meetings we, we had. Vancouver Folk Music Festival organizers say they're facing bigger costs than ever before, making it impossible to put on the show this year. And they say the future of the festival, which was first hosted here at Jericho Beach in 1978, is up in the air. We uh, that there was not, it was not going to be sustainable to put the festival on because our budget was looking at a, almost a half a million dollar deficit. It's just a blow to the community. It's hard. It's a blow to the artists. It's a blow to the fans. Musician and event producer Adam Fink says he's scared of what this means for other music events in Vancouver. Having these international artists come into town for something like the Folk Festival is huge for the support that the artists at a local level will get from being on these bills with them. People from all over the region came to enjoy the festival every July, but coming back after two years of restrictions, the festival organizers say they found themselves operating in a dramatically different environment. During the pandemic, some, uh, you know, quite a few suppliers went out of business. Uh, so that means that it's harder to actually source um, some of the key things you need to put on a festival. After the pandemic, we found that suppliers were asking for, for money up front, which put a lot of pressure on, uh, on the cash flows. One insurance expert says outdoor festivals also face numerous risks, and insurance is getting more expensive. One of the big ones is just physical property damage. We have severe weather on the rise. Phil Hemming says the decision to end the festival permanently will be in the hands of society members when they vote on February 1st. I've seen people uh, enthralled by the music, have their, their lives changed. We're a folk music festival and the folk are, are what matters. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.